Okay, everybody, it's Artifact Man. Uh, finally, I've uh, got my Christmas package. Thank you, Ken. Uh, sent some pretty cool stuff. And I'll uh, go through them here and show you all. Uh, I got this on, uh, I believe it was Friday. Today is, uh, what is today? Wednesday. Uh, it's been busy. I had a really busy weekend. I went to the Chiefs game, and it was ice storm, and so I'm just now getting around to getting this video put up. But uh, check out some of this cool stuff he sent. Lightly ground on the base. Is that a? Almost has a Thebes look to it. I uh, Thebes or Dove Thebes or dovetail base with a. No, I don't know. That's cool. And then uh, check this out. This thing would have been a killer. I mean, that thing's two and a half inches long, probably two inches wide. Just what's there. That thing is cool. Uh, I like the notching in that. See how that notching th th Thebes notching? That's got a classic Thebes base. Of course, one side's ding, but still it would have came over just like this side. Very cool. A uh, little side notch. I don't know what they call these out their way. Maybe Otter Creek. Uh, that's what I call them around here. Night Island. I mean, there's multiple points made like this. I mean, this one's median ridge. The flaking on it has a little transverse flaking on that side. A little parallel median ridge flaking on this side. Very nice piece. Just a bit of the tip gone, but really nice. Really nice. Ground on the base. Here's a uh, tool of some kind or a preform to a smaller dart point. Pretty, uh, the material he said, it's pretty much about like the material that, that we have around here. I mean, I find all this material about the same pretty cool I mean I find a lot of this uh, just different I don't know what they call this this is I don't know if you can see it in the picture it has a uh, tannish grayish tan with a white I don't know what that material is I found it around here and it's usually made in little crude little points like this that's a pretty neat little piece right there flaking on it stuff might be pretty hard to work it's always in that nebo-esque style kind of thick in the middle when the when i find that stuff nice little uh, almost like a uniface tool here it's pretty neat it does have a little bit of uh, work around the tip there and on the edge but work very nice nice little tool and he said that these were all personal finds of his, which, uh, buddy, that's that's pretty cool. It's hard to give up your personal finds, I know. Here's a nice uh, scraper. Some people call these bullnose scrapers or whatever you want to call them. Looks like this one might have had a graver on the end of it at one time. I found, a, found them like that before that came up to a real fine point out on the end. That's just a nice, good, good scraper. I like the material in that too. Um, I already showed that. No, I did not. Here's another one of those uh, tools or preforms. Very easily could be paleo preformed or something. I don't know, but uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat. And he did send a piece of uh, pottery from there area which we have the same style I mean even the same that looks like bark uh, bark print correct me if I'm wrong pretty cool grit tempered pretty cool pottery there's another piece of it that looks like maybe just incised in it could be bark or hair marked or However they mark that. 
This one's been cooked in quite a bit. It's black. It's pretty cool. Have some Indiana stuff. First Indiana stuff I've ever owned. Here's a nice little uh, thumb scraper. Look at that thing. Uniface. Little thumbnail scraper thing. Big, just about, just about exactly the size of your thumbnail. That's a pretty cool piece. I wish that camera would focus. Really nice. That's well made. And here's a big old tool. It's got edge work on the edge. Down this edge. Big old knife or scraper or cutting tool of some kind. Pretty neat. Pretty neat piece. And then I find a lot of this stuff around here too. I mean, it's common in the creeks around here. I mean, it's just littered with it, the material itself. And you find a few points made out of it. I don't know why they didn't use it more than they did. There's a lot of it. Look at the micro edge work on that thing. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but that's a pretty neat, pretty neat scraper or tool right there. And then last but not least, oh, I got another one. Here's another, uh, here's another scraper, duck bill, bull nose, whatever you want to call it, scraper. Very nice material. I like the way it patinated. Very cool. Those are cool. I like, I like stuff like that. And, but this thing right here blew me away. Uh, everybody says blew me away, but. I was kind of shocked to see this in there in the package uh, buddy you didn't have to send something this nice but uh, I'll always have it and it's nice little ads and it's hard stone ads and this thing's pretty cool I'll check this out thin highly polished see how it's got that taper down there it's been worked heavily that edge has been, I mean, they've used that. They just never resharpened it. But it is highly polished. Very nice. Piece of basalt. Very nice. Very, very nice. That thing is cool. Huh. I very much appreciate that. That, that, uh, it's hard to give up stuff like this when you find it. I mean, uh, I know I've given a lot away, a lot of cool stuff away that I found, and it's not easy. And uh, you know, I don't, I can't. You know, if you, uh, I don't know how many of these you found in your life, but that's a very nice piece, and I appreciate it very much. And it'll be in my collection, and it'll get passed down to my son. But thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, and thank you, Ken, so much for this uh, great Christmas gift that you sent, or sent Secret Santa package. Uh, I'm going to do another video because i got some other stuff I wanted to show Ken, but I'm kind of running out of time on this one. But We'll see you all later, and get out there and find something cool. Later.